James Lunds, thank you for joining me on my channel today. This fantastic, beautiful Lake County Cabernet Sauvignon from Hawk and Horse 2015 Vintage. I'll tell you all about it, so stay tuned. So I love to enjoy a Cabernet in a beautiful Bordeaux glass like this. I think it really goes a long way. This is Riedel Sommelier, which I definitely am a huge fan of. So I prefer a really nice large format glass. I love that it's handmade. To me, that's really special. And this one to me is really special. But again, I'm not going to just leave it on a shelf and collect us forever. I really am going to utilize this and uh, to express this wine to its fullest capability. To me, the expression in terms of the, just a nice bowl here, and uh, the format, the elongation, I think is best for Bordeaux varieties. Here we go. This is Hawk and Horse. This is a 2015 vintage. Uh, Lake County, Red Hills, 2015 vintage. Back label for you to look at here, Demitter certified. And uh, so the label here is really cool. So it's a Diamond B Ranch wine, Hawk and Horse Vineyards, 2015 vintage, Cabernet Sauvignon, Red Hills. That's the AVA or sub AVA of Lake County. High elevation, 2200 feet above sea level. And uh, so you have a rocky red soil, and so hence the name Red Hills. And I think this is a fantastic, gorgeous wine, and it expresses beautifully. 800 cases made. I think it shows you can produce a fine Cabernet Sauvignon in Lake County. So here's a map too. I want to show you where Lake County is. So when you look at Highway 29, that's really the central corridor through Napa Valley. It goes upwards towards Lake County, and then it shifts going northeast from the northwest position. I think this is a really handsome, gorgeous, uh, beautiful ranch, and some pictures right here so you can see um, the, the absolutely pristine quality of this ranch. And so you can see all the beautiful Scottish cattle and all the beautiful animals that live on this ranch as well as Sublime Cabernet Sauvignon and other varieties that, that live on this ranch and are cultivated every single year to produce fine wines. So this wine is 84% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 10% Petit Verdot, and 6% Cabernet Franc. And I love that. I'm glad that it's not 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. I know that there's a purist camp for Bordeaux varieties. That is, people really want 100% of Cab Franc or Petit Verdot or Cabernet Sauvignon. But to me, Cabernet Sauvignon at its finest is really in a great homage when it's put together, blended with other Bordeaux varieties at a minority position. The majority for Cabernet Sauvignon obviously has to be a higher percentage of Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, overwhelmingly so, but also that uh, addition of Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc gives vividness and color and uh, layering and complexity to the wine. And every single year, Every producer that I know that does Cabernet Sauvignon has to tweak it just a bit, has to change it just up, you know, reduce the varieties or even change out to maybe a Merlot one year. So addition to this wine, it's going to have a 14.3% ABV and it's also 80% of this is new French oak and 20% of this is second use oak. So on this uh, blackberry, a bit of boot polish notes, which I love that characterization. That's um, an expression from James Halliday. I, I think that's really well done as well as uh, freshly ground spices, uh, forest floor autumnal notes on this, and uh, red rose petal. It's absolutely exquisite. And next, the palette characterization. So the tans are pretty pronounced. Acidity is very vivid and beautiful, especially on the front palette, and I like that experience. Additional to that, I'm getting notes of Loch Ness blackberry, so a bit of that uh, heirloom blackberry note, as well as bay leaf, tarragon, and elegant hint of spice. And so I use all these herbaceous qualities, but that's what to me is the beauty of Cabernet Sauvignon and Bordeaux varieties, is it brings out exquisite characterization, uh, fineness to this wine. And I think what's also exciting about this wine, tasting the wine based on the acidity, is it's going to age beautifully. I can imagine what this might taste like 20 years from today. And uh, I think this is a great experience to taste these volcanic soil wines. I think this is beautiful and wonderful and uh, 95 point wine. It is really nice. I'll put more information on the producer down below also where you can order this wine. A great touch to this producer's wines. I think they do such a fantastic job. I love that it's uh, Demeter certified. I think there's a lot you get with a high quality wine and one that I think is worth tasting, enjoying, experiencing, and also cellaring. So buy one, taste one now, seller one for the future. So let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. You can also find me on my podcast, such as Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for your support. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you soon. Sante.